Welcome to Bizjet TV. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the recent accident that happened to an Embraer Phenom 300 uh, on takeoff out of Provo, Utah Airport. Uh, the airplane crashed. There were four people on board, a uh, pilot and another person sitting in the cockpit with the pilot. Not sure if the other person was a pilot as well. And two passengers. The pilot that was flying uh, died um, in the uh, accident. The other person in the cockpit is severely injured and they're in hospital right now. We pray that they may recover. And the two people in the back just managed to get away with a few bruises and scars. So it's good to see that, you know, two people have walked away with no injury uh, from this. Now, uh, looking at it from a distance, and I know it's early days of the investigation, it looks to me a typical accident that happens when you don't de-ice your airplane. Um, and it's very, very similar to an accident that happened back in 2002 um, out of Birmingham in the UK, which is a Challenger 604. There were three professional pilots on board, very experienced, and they decided not to de-ice the airplane and the airplane took off and, you know, one wing stalled, airplane cartwheeled and everybody died in this case. So looking at a distance, this is um, my, my, my read on it, but it could also be that the pilot had a heart attack on takeoff um, and maybe there was a bit of turbulence on takeoff and consequently the, the, the pilot just after liftoff at 10 feet. So if he had a heart attack and maybe went like that on the controls and, and the airplane was like that, you know, depending on how he, he fell on the controls, uh, that could have been the cause as well. Now, we won't know until they do an autopsy on the body um, and maybe manage to speak to the other pilot that was sitting next to him. If this was the case, then we'll find out if they de-iced or not. Um, and if they did de-ice, then it's looking to me like typical situation of pilot incapacitation. So that could be what happened there. Now, uh, I am hearing uh, news, which is a very, very worrying news, that the new trend now with pilot owners in wintertime is to park their aeroplane in a nice heated hangar. And then what they do is they switch the engines on in the heated hangar and they taxi out of the hangar onto the runway and take off. They think that by doing this, they're going to avoid ice. Well, let me just wake you up here because it only takes a few minutes for ice to accumulate on a wing and you know and it's important to understand that you only need enough ice just like a grain of salt and that sometimes you can't even see during a visual inspection so you're doing your visual inspection and sometimes you can see the frost and the ice and the snow or whatever on your wing uh, but sometimes it's so so you know like a grain of salt you can't see it so you've got to look at the weather conditions and you've got to say to you, you know what let's just de-ice the airplane to be safe and you should always do that in weather conditions like the weather um, the weather report from Provo, Utah. Looking at that as an airline captain, I would have said, okay, we're de-icing today. Uh, I'll do the de-icing truck. Oh, you're going to have to wait an hour. We'll wait an hour. Oh, we're going to be like, I don't care. We'll wait an hour. No rush. Safety first. Uh, really, really important to, to understand that. So um, if you're a pilot owner and you're watching this, um, you know, I would certainly get some training uh, as far as icing is concerned read up on icing and what you can do what you can't do maybe fly some simulator details where you do some try and take take off with your airplane with some ice on the wings just to and maybe ice on the tail and or on one wing on the other wing and just see how the airplane behaves experience that in the simulator crash the airplane in the simulator because of ice and that that will stick with you and you'll understand the importance of the icing uh, that's certainly something that i would do if i if i were a pilot owner um i mean i i remember sitting in ground school one day with one of the airlines I worked for and they were showing us video after video about you know ice and that because uh, we were going into winter operations and we did a lot of flights up to Sweden and Norway and Finland <clears throat> so lots of icing conditions up there so we really needed to understand the whole icing thing very very thoroughly and this was drummed into me in a very very early day and so it's it's important to to understand that icing can kill now uh, the gentleman that was flying the Phenom 300 that just crashed in Provo Utah I actually met him 27 years ago, um, I had an hour and a half meeting with him. He was a very successful network marketer, made lots of money, millions and millions of dollars in the network marketing industry. Um, and I had a meeting with him. I was living in Milan, Italy at the time. Um, and because of my success in network marketing, there's me and other 10, 12 people in the meeting. And they were talking about New Skin, which is the company he worked, he, he worked with um, and the opportunity there. Um, so I found him very professional, um, competent, knew what he was doing uh, and um, since then he's he's built you know a very large business invested a lot in commercial real estate and that he also had an airline transport pilot's license 
and, and I know he'd been flying jets for over 10 years and this is not his first jet that he owned. So he obviously had been training um, and that. So I don't know if the airplane was de-iced or not. So my take is either they hadn't de-iced and that's what caused the accident or he had a heart take, attack or some form of pilot incapacitation which uh, caused the airplane to cartwheel. It's one of those two. That's my take. So what's your take on this accident that happened in Provo, Utah? Uh, let's get the comments going below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a super thanks. And if you haven't subscribed to Bizjet TV, subscribe to this channel and then check this other video out here about the rise of the light jets, which is a new trend in the market. It's happening right now. I even talked about it in my other video about my predictions for 2023 of the private jet market. And that's all from Felicia Polly on Bizjet TV. And I'll see you in the next one.